New developments at 5 o'clock. The woman maimed at a local hair salon will not tell her story to a jury, but instead wants to tell it to state lawmakers. Channel 2's consumer investigator Jim Strickland has an important update on a case that many hope will bring changes to the state's salon industry. Hair Images is the DeKalb County Salon blamed for the horrific injury suffered by a Brazilian wax client. While her lawsuit has now been settled, she says that's not the end of the case. I do want my case to mean something. I feel like this happened for a reason. Like Alicia Williams' settlement comes one week after we exposed a long history of violations at Hair Images Salon. Her lawyer says the story made a difference, though they're not discussing numbers. We were able to receive a recovery for her um, that was 35 times what the initial offer was. Williams blames an unlicensed technician for her injury, the same woman who waxed our producer undercover. The settlement includes provisions that Williams can openly discuss her story. If there's some new legislation that needs to be passed, she's certainly willing to be at the forefront of that and uh, make sure that her story is told. The Cosmetology Board chairperson says Georgia needs tougher enforcement and more inspectors. Someone who wants to violate the law is going to continue to do it until there's a deterrent that stops him. I walked into hair images where the owner refused to speak. He had already made denials during my earlier visit. Are you a rogue operator flouting the law? No, not at all. I've been in business for 21 years. William says she'll remain an advocate for salon safety for all those who take it for granted. I was so clueless before, and I've learned a lot, and I don't want to stop learning here. I want it to go further. Whit Langley credits the salon's attorney for helping to bring about the settlement. The salon's attorney did not return my call. Reporting in DeKalb County, Jim Strickland, Channel 2 Action News.